Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, I'm going to be doing another audiobook report, and this time on the book by Drew Hayes called Superpowers. And Superpowers, it's actually a series of four books, and there's a spinoff book. The premise of the book is there's the, it's set in a world with superheroes, and superpowers aren't terribly uncommon but they're also i mean they're they're around but what you have is you have people who have what you would consider traditional superpowers and these people can either go to school and get basically a hero certification or they can you know work in business or whatever but you also have a group of people whose powers are detrimental to themselves and in this case, what the book centers on is it centers on five of these powers that are given a treatment to help them basically turn their, their I don't know what you call it, deficiency or handicap type power into a functional power. Like, for example, one of the characters, what happens is she tends to float but the problem with floating is she just floats off, you know, up into the air, and it's kind of an uncontrolled thing. And it's also not really terribly consistent. And what happens is she, the, the treatment helps her manage this. And, and anyway, what happens is the five, the five people who get this treatment go to, for lack of a better term, a superhero college. And the way the superhero college is set up is it's a traditional college, but down in the basement, and the basement being an expansive underground network of just what you'd expect, um, is like they go to the traditional college, and then they also go to the superhero college. And the superhero college is very competitive, and they have various events where it pits them against one another and that kind of thing. And I got to tell you, I I enjoy Drew Hayes' take on the superhero genre. And I think it's his his books are, feel really suited to the audiobook format because as I understand it, I didn't I didn't read these when he had them up on his webpage, but as I understood it, what he did was he would post like a chapter every couple of days, so it was almost a serialized novel. And it just seems to work really well with the the audiobook format. And Kyle McCarthy, I mean, I think the narrator does an excellent job as well. So, I mean, I'm, I, I went through all of them in one shot, except while I was listening to them, the fourth one wasn't out yet. So I went through all three. And one thing I should mention is there's actually four books. It's Superpowered Year 1, 2, 3, and 4. And these correspond to the four years the characters are in college. There's also a spinoff called Corpies, and Corpies is about a, a group of, again, super-powered individuals that works for a corporation kind of as, for lack of a better term, a publicity stunt kind of thing. They're like the publicity arm, kind of like, you know, the companies doing charity work kind of thing. They sponsor a, a superhero team that does, like, firefighting and stuff like that not official like legal heroing like the the superpowers are trying are, are going to school to become i mean like what it is is the, the way it works is the setup is at the end of the superhero the, the superhero program at the college if you graduate you become a hero which is kind of like a superpowered cop almost where there's a there's a legal aspect to it and they're monitored due to insurance and that kind of stuff. So I mean, it's it's a it's serious business, and the series of books they get like they get longer each book. The first book is like twenty six hours. Year one is like twenty six hours and change, and year four is about sixty hours. It actually beat out Brandon Sanderson's third Stormlight Archive book by like four or five hours. But it's, I mean, like, they're all, in, they're all enjoyable listens. And I wasn't, 
I didn't burn out on them as sometimes you do with the super long books. I enjoyed them all the way through, and there was a lot of stuff going on. So if you're in the mood for kind of a... The problem is, like, any any kind of book that has the characters going to school for a thing, for a special whatever, you automatically have the comparison like Harry Potter. And I don't necessarily want to compare it to Harry Potter in, in that respect, but, I mean, it has... It has the aspects of the characters going, you know, it starts off with the characters, the characters go to the college, and then it has them going through the, the college year, and then at the end of the year is the end of the book, and then book two picks up with them going for their second year of college. And so, I guess the Harry Potter comparisons are just kind of unavoidable. But the problem, I guess part of the problem is it's kind of like comparing Harry Potter to Ender's Game. Because, you know, Ender's Game predates Harry Potter and it had, you know, special kids going to the special school to learn the special thing. So, uh, I don't know. Harry Potter comparisons are kind of iffy. But if you're looking for a, a superhero genre type book... Superpowers is an interesting twist on it, and I, I enjoyed a lot of the superpowers that the characters had, and I mean like there there there's some traditional ones they're interesting like like there is a I guess you'd call her a tertiary character, there's like a tertiary character that's a speedster, but there's also you know there's like healer characters, and one of the hero one of the healer characters has a super interesting power where. What she does is she basically absorbs damage and stores it for later. And it's one of the first instances I can think of off the top of my head of an actively offensive healer. Because what her power does is, like, say somebody breaks their, breaks their arm or breaks their leg, she absorbs and stores, this, she stores that damage. And later on, she can apply the same damage to somebody else. So she, she can basically touch you in your arm or leg break, that kind of thing. So it's kind of, I mean, like, he's got some good powers in there. He also has a, a superpower is wrapped up with year four. And it is a big kind of production being 60 hours. He started a second series that's in a different world called Forging Hephaestus. And I'll include a link to all this in the description. And Forging Hephaestus is, instead of being about heroes, it's actually about basically a novice villain. And it's I, I listened to that one as well, and I was not disappointed, and I kind of want books two through four, or however many he decides to write for that one. But I've enjoyed... I've definitely enjoy, I definitely enjoyed Superpowers, and if you're in the mood for a superhero book and or superhero series, and you've got uh, 160 hours to kill for all... Four books, maybe 180 hours to kill if you count in Corpies. It's a pretty good one. I mean, wow. That's like four and a half weeks of nonstop audiobook. Hmm. Anyway, it's a pretty good book series. You might want to give it a shot if you're looking for something. And the first one, only at 26 hours. you got to figure, if you don't like it, you don't have to listen to the later books. But I I enjoyed, I enjoyed, the, I enjoyed this series a lot. And... Like I said, there's a lot of superpowers that are really interesting, and I got to—I mean, you get to like all the characters, and they're all kind of interesting. Anyway, I don't want to give too much away with this, but if you're looking for a superhero genre book, the superpower is definitely worth a shot. Anyway, if you have any suggestions for any audiobooks you think I should check out, or questions about these audiobooks, let me know in the comments because I'm always looking for a new audiobook or audiobook series that I haven't heard of to give a shot. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And also, if you have any suggestions for interesting visualizations I can do, as opposed to just putting up the random Amazon page with Superpowered on it, because I don't really know how to visualize an audiobook, if that makes any kind of sense, in a video format. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope you all have an excellent day.